Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. This is Ruby. This is Chester. Today we're going to be reviewing the JW Pet Treat Tower. Right, buddy? All right, so I just picked up this JW Pet Treat Tower. It was a pretty cheap find. I think it was about 20 bucks. You can get these on Amazon. You can get these on Chewy. You could probably find these in your local store. I'm gonna leave some links down below for you guys to check it out if you're interested. Really simple toy here. I'm using this for Chester mainly, just to slow him down from eating occasionally, and also to give him some mental stimulation. This thing's a little, you know, wobbles on its side. And he's gonna have to nose around a bit in order to get the treats to come out. So how this thing works, you just plop the treats in the very top there. If you wanna change the difficulty level of it, you just simply unscrew the top here. And then you can remove these three separate discs for the large one. I believe the small one has two, maybe a single disc. And with these discs, you can actually adjust the different size that you want for the treat holes. So if you got some big kibble or some small kibble, you can kind of move these around and make sure that it'll fit through the actual holes. You can also adjust these in terms of how they're positioned so that you can either have all the slots align so that the tree kind of falls straight through or you can kind of stagger it so it has to kind of wiggle around a little bit more when you're nosing around on this thing. So I'm gonna go fill this up for Chester. We're gonna see what he thinks of this. Then I'm gonna fill it up for Ruby, see what she thinks of this. So let's get going. So there you have it, that is the JW Pet Treat Tower. This thing's pretty awesome actually, I really like this. It took Chester a little while. The initial part of it, like tons of treats are falling out. I kind of like that aspect of it because it kind of keeps him motivated. He knows that what's coming out of this, there is rewards behind it. So he kind of keeps at it as like some of the harder pieces are staying up at the top and he has to nose around at this a bit. Ruby, she kind of liked it. She's getting older and she doesn't really care about these games. She's a slow eater to begin with, so I'm not too concerned, but she did seem a little bit interested, but Chester really likes this thing. So I'm gonna be using this probably for like at least one of his meals per day. Uh, great mental simulation, really cheap pickup. So I'm gonna leave the links down in the description below if you guys are interested. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you boop that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you again next time.